Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always an honor for me to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. I always feel um, privileged to be in this position where God gives me a word for you. And my prayer always is that it meets just the right person that needs to hear it at the right time. Hallelujah. God bless everyone that is joining for the first time. If this is the first time you're clicking on my video, a special welcome to you. Thank you so much for joining. Please check to see if you already subscribed to this channel. Channel. If not, go ahead and touch that subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that whenever there is a release of a prophetic word, you will not miss out. Hallelujah. This is a sign that God is leading you towards a great blessing. This is a sign that God is leading you towards a great blessing. It might not seem like it because right now you are feeling bad. You feel like God did not answer you. You feel like you prayed about this, you fasted about this, you believed God for this, you sowed the seed towards this, and yet it did not turn out right, and you are feeling so frustrated. Whenever you pray and God does not answer the way you would have wanted Him to, He still did answer. A no from God is still a yes in disguise in another form. God could have refused that same thing you're asking because he knows something greater and better is coming. For example, you've been believing God for this particular job. You've prayed about it. You've pl planted seeds, fasted, and you went and you got rejected. It's not like God is saying no to your um, work career. There is just a greater blessing that God is preparing for you. And if this door opened, it means you cannot longer walk into the other door that God is opening for you. So he might have said no here, but it doesn't mean the no is definite. It's just no for this thing because something greater is coming. Maybe you're experiencing a kind of disappointment right now. Someone you loved so much has broken your heart. They jilted you, they ghosted you, and you're asking God, why is your life like this? God says this person has to go so that a better person can come but until your eyes are open to see that you will not even be able to embrace the person that is coming there is always a disguised blessing in every disappointment every disappointment always comes with a disguised blessing and my prayer for you watching me right now is that god will open your eyes to see the blessing that comes from every disappointment in the mighty name of jesus god says your prayer was answered. It was not just answered how you would have loved it to be, but it was answered in a better way that you only have to um, discover this later and you appreciate God for this much later. If you can just um, keep away the hurt, the pain you are feeling from the disappointment and seek God's face in this time, he will open your eyes to see the blessing in disguise that is in that disappointment that you felt like your life was depending on it. I pray for you. May God heal your heart, even though you're feeling pain right now from rejection and disappointment. May God heal your heart in the name of Jesus. And may he open your eyes to see the blessing that is coming from this disappointment in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you, keep you cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.